Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you very much uh, for supporting our channel. The Standard newspaper reported today that Kithure Kindiki is William Ruto's deputy. Now, when I saw that story, um, I realized there is something called a gender setting theory. And the reason why uh, most political observers have actually agreed with that standard headline uh, that um, Kithuru Kendike is Ruto's deputy is because Ruto himself, I think UDA did not come out to offer a statement rather to oppose that and they are all quiet. So technically what they are doing, they were trying to test the waters and see a reaction. It is not out of the moon. So, Deputy President is likely that I settled on Kithuri Kindike. If you refer to my analysis on the numbers, Kithuri Kindike did not fit, but there was a dominant factor on the candidate to be William Ruto's running mate, that candidate that cannot upstage him in central Kenya, and a candidate that do not have presidential ambitions. Now those are the two reasons why I am convinced the deputy president might have settled on Kithure Kindike. But as we mentioned, Ruto's running mate also has an impact on Raila Odinga. And I think it is time for the Azimula Omoja team to let the running mate matter settle. If Raila Odinga's running mate was Kalonzo Msioka, then even the interview panel, the panel that was formed, would have been formed. But that panel was formed because Kalonzo Msioka is not Raila Dinga's running mate. And the target of that panel is to manage other expectations, to manage Peter Kenneth, Peter Munya, and the, even the Hassan Yoho, Alfred Mutua. That is it was done strategically there to manage. So today, um, Kanu, uh, um, Kanu leader uh, Gideon Moy endorsed Kalonzo Musioka for Elo Dinga's running mate. <laughs> so you can see what is happening. Now in this video, I want us to explain, do an explainer, why it is time for Elo Dinga to name Mata Karua as the running mate in the context of William Ruto's uh, William Ruto picking Kithure Kendeke. That to me is very interesting. Now ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching this video and you have not yet subscribed, subscribed, kindly subscribe, click the notification bell and also give us your feedback on do you think if Raila, if 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 Ruto picks Kendeke Raila should pick Martha, or Raila should go out of Central Kenya. <laughs> yes, that is the question. But are you in Nairobi and its environs? Are you staying in a place like Kiambu, uh, Machakos, Kitagela, and areas where you experience frequent blackouts, or even putting a, a house in a country? Then the solution for you is alternative power backup system and a solar solution for you. Now, I want you to reach out to Instalite Company and they have amazing packages from 125,000 to 195,000 to as you see in this poster and have a conversation with, with Gidiomi who is the person in charge. His number is 0722 818-883-0722-818-883 and that will be um, you're really going to receive a very good feedback from him. When Raila Dinga picks Mata Karua as the running mate then that is going to shift the Mount Kenya vote hunting on the choice of the running mates. Now this is what I mean because uh, William Ruto has already settled on one Kithure Kindike. Now when Raila Dinga settles on Mata Karua, and by the way, with all due um, considerations, 
Raila has to go to central Kenya because now the concentration is going there. Now, the central Kenya voters that, they, that coalesce around deputy president, because deputy president they, our, was sold to them as uh, their kingpin, we now find an opportunity to compare. It is going to shift from William Ruto's support to the running mate. So you put Kitaro Kinduka on the other side, then you put um, um, Mata Karo on the other side. These are two sides of a shilling. Kitaro Kindiki and Mata Karua cannot be compared when you talk about the national politics. So just on that, it will be a very critical aspect to change the tide. And um, now I think the country is a bit uh, getting agitated. Uh, the country is getting uh, used to this, uh, to, to the Kitore Kindiki. Now when Matakaro is named, the reactions are going to explode on both camps. So leaders, for example, leaders like Moses Kuria, that initially was supporting Martha Karo to be William Ruto's running mate, will now have an opportunity to speak out. And of course, people who will feel uncomfortable with Kituri Kindike being picked as the running mate, because the truth of the matter here is, um, um, and I mentioned in this channel that Musale Mudavadi did not want to get Geshagwa. Rigeti Geshagwa, Ali Swahome, Dindi Nyoro, and Kimani Chungwa team were also of the opinion that if the running mate was to come from UDA, then it was to be given to the pioneer members. So the likes of Kituri Kindiki and JB Muturi, Speaker Muturi, were perceived as latecomers. But when William Ruto uh, subdued um, Kituri Kindiki not to seek an elective seat in Tarakaniti but to gain national politics, he had an idea what exactly was in store for Kituri Kindiki. So this reaction, you never know, at some point there are leaders in UDA that will develop a cold feet around William Ruto. And then in protest, behind the scenes, they can support Mother Karwa. But there is also another uh, dominant narrative here of the Mount Kenya East and Mount Kenya West. So one of the reasons why William Ruto um, might is a double, why Kitore Kindiki is a double-edged sword for him is because when Raila Dinga and President Uhuru Kenyatta brought together Peter Munya and, um, and uh, Kiraito Murungi, there's a perception that there's a new team Technically, they had locked the Meru region, especially now the Meru and the Taraka. But Taraka, it's a bit slippery. So when William Ruto goes to pick a running mate from Tarakaniti, he's already giving back a hand to the Mount Kenya East side. Because what they had been arguing is, and that was their bitter bind against the president, that they supported Yomu Kenyatta, they supported Mwai Kibaki, they supported President Uhuru Kenyatta, but they were never given back the hand. But again, there is something that you cannot wish away. Who is the Chief Justice? And who is the Speaker of the National Assembly? If, if you look at it, the Chief Justice Martha Kome is from Meru. The Speaker of National Assembly is from Embu, that is uh, Justin Muturi. And that is, by the way, that is why Muturi got that position, because President Huru Kenyatta was trying to reward that other side of Mount Kenya. So that argument that they've been left out, I think for me it doesn't add up. Even if you look at the head of DCI, Kinoti is from Meru. So there is also a bit of an element that they are dissatisfied. But then, because of that, if William, if, if Raido Dinga picks Martha Karua, it is going to neutralize that regional uh, card with the gender card. So the gender card is going to tilt across. While some of Mount Kenya voters might be told that William Ruto has picked Kituri Kindiki from Tarkaniti for the first time they have a son going to the executive office, the Azmiu team can also be telling the central Kenya voters, especially the women constituency, that for the first time there is going to be a female deputy president. Now if you ask me, 
which one looks more attractive which one has the traction now the Martha Karua Raila card with Martha Karua being announced as Raila, as Raila's running mate is going to bring that emotional appeal and the national traction or rather it's going to give the Azimio ticket the aesthetics it will look attractive lastly I think because uh, William Ruto is also put into an end the conversation of betraying uh, Musalem Davadi, I think when Raila picks Matakarua finally, it will put to an end this escalating Kalonzo Musioka factor. It's time because one thing I have known is they have decided. I mentioned they have decided that's going to be Matakarua or Matakarua. So all the other things that are on board are, exp are just to manage expectations. There is no difference between uh, Peter Munya, Peter Kenneth, and Kalonzo Musioka. So if you are to go for the two PKs, then you just rather leave Central Kenya and go for Kalonzo Musioka. But to add value to the Central Kenya card, Raila Odinga have settled on Martha Karwa. So that conversation needs to put needs to come to an end. That is why even William Ruto weighed on it, telling them that you know you are humiliating Kalonzo Musioka. What they will do? They will create a perception, or what the Kenya Kwanza team will do, they will create a perception that their side is very comfortable, they are good with everything, but Azimio is struggling. While behind the scenes, there are a lot of um, games that are being played and people are a bit dissatisfied. So ladies and gentlemen, that's my analysis.